Hey you guys, uh, today we're going to be working in Muse, Adobe Muse. Um, in, at the end of uh, 2013, and November of 2013, uh, Adobe uh, added an option, one of the widgets, uh, to allow you to have a uh, full screen um, uh, slideshow. So I'm going to show you how to uh, work with the slideshow. Uh, in I know that uh, when some people use it for the f very first time, they notice that they lose their uh, their menu bar, in this case, up here at the top. So this is just a run it through preview to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Go into the preview here. And when it goes into the preview, the images are going to um, just run in the background. So you can change the timing for the slideshow and uh, handle that however you like. Uh, one of the the things I do want to point out right now is that notice that each image as they're flipping through is filling up the, the screen. So that's going to be a really important thing for our initial setup. Uh, going into, well actually starting in Muse, uh, going up to the file menu here and then going down to site properties, I want to point out once this dialog box opens up, I want to point out the uh, the size that we're working with. So it's uh, 960 pixels by 500. So that's going to be our aspect ratio. Uh, that's going to be important. Keeping those numbers handy is going to be important if you want to uh, have the images fill the screen. And, and keep in mind that they don't necessarily have to um, uh, display the entire image. I mean, it's really up to you on how you want to handle that. But um, it's it's also a good thing to know the height as well. So I'm going to jump over to Photoshop and, and show you how you can handle this really quickly. So those numbers, once again, were 960 by 500. Going into the Crop tool, up in the Options bar at the top here, you can change this to um, from Unconstrained to Original Ratio, 1 by 1, any of these other uh, options that you want to. I'm going to set it to Unconstrained for right now, and then type in those numbers. And you got to make sure that you put in PX for pixels. So that's 960 PX tab to jump over to the next field well i just lost my i just lost my um um crop tool there for a moment 960 px by 500 px so that gives me that aspect ratio of course it's at a, a vertical right now clicking on this little um rotate option will change it to the um horizontal rotation so now i can grab any of the handles Pull them. I don't have to hold down the shift key to keep it constrained uh, because it's using the, that 960 by 500 pixel uh, aspect ratio. So I can crop this to whatever size that I want uh, and then apply the crop. Go ahead and apply that. And then let me switch over to another tool so we can see this. Uh, make it a larger size. So this would be the size of the slideshow. All right, and you could do this on all of your images that you're going to use within the slideshow. So that was already taken care of. That's going to be easy to just go ahead and drop in. So I'm going to jump back over to Muse. I got another um, uh, window already set up for this. So going into the uh, the master page, you know, the uh, the menu bar was set up in the master page. And now what I want to do is I want to have that slideshow running on the home page. So when you go into the home page. This is what you're going to see, and then you're also going to have the um, slideshow running in the background. So we're going to go into the widgets library here. Come on, widgets library. And then I'm going to jump down to slideshows. So we got a number of slideshows to choose from, basic, blank, full screen, light box, and thumbnails. For this particular one, I want to use full screen. All you have to do is just grab that, either the name or right here, this little preview, grab it and drag it onto the window. Give it a moment so it now fills the entire screen. What we do notice is that I no longer have my menu bar at the top anymore. So I'm going to delete this and talk about why that's happening. So let me click on it and get rid of it. All right, let me click on it and get rid of it. Okay, so one of the reasons why, or actually the reason why this is happening is because the text is all, or the... Um, uh, the menu bar is on a particular layer. All right, that was created on the master on the master page. So when I brought the full screen widget in, it covered it up. All right now, what we need to do is we need to take that full screen widget and get it to go behind the menu bar. 
So what we'll need to do is we'll need to work with layers. So over on the right hand side you also have a layers panel. Now all the, uh, the information right now that was created, the, the menu bar in this case, was created on layer 1, that's the default layer, on the master page. So if I turn off the eyeball, we'll see that everything goes away. Click back on the eyeball again, it all comes back. All we really have to do is go down to the bottom here, to the lower right hand side, and click on a new layer icon. That will now add a new layer, in this case layer 2. Uh, I had already created that, so all I'm going to do is make that active by clicking on it. So now once again, I'm going to go to the full screen option and grab it and drag it onto the window. Alright, so now when it comes in, it's behind the menu bar. Alright, so everything that's on it will now um, display properly. And so going again back to the other, the second window, oh, sorry, this is what it would look like once the, uh, the images were added in. Okay, so um, adding images is very simple. All you have to do is go up to when the uh, little window goes up, click on that little blue arrow right there at the top. When this opens up, just click on the Add Images um, icon there. Click on that, point to your images. So these are the home images. I can just click and drag over each one of them. You'll notice that they're all the same size. Hit Open. They all have the same aspect ratio of this window. So they're going to line up perfectly. Uh, you can set your transition speed and then the uh, the autoplay. When is it going to switch from uh, slide to slide? How long? So you can vary those numbers up or down. Okay. Um, the other options that are here, uh, navigation options, you can turn off and on if you like. So all that information was turned off. Uh, you can also have thumbnails turned on as well if you want the thumbnails for each one of them. And they're over on the... Uh, far side and on the left hand side um, and you can also um, turn those options off or on or, or set it to excuse me let me point that option out set it to freeform thumbnails which will allow you to then grab each each thumbnail and move them wherever you want uh, within the image or on the page okay so uh, that's how you work with your full screen um, uh, slideshow and the next option up is going to be show you to show you guys how to work with these um, uh, rollovers, how to create some rollovers both here in Muse as well as in uh, Photoshop. So uh, good luck with the uh, full screen slideshow and I'll see you in the next video.